Okay. So we've seen you in, in not very many films, though last year you were nominated for an Oscar. This year, what do you feel like your challenges are to fill, fill the shoes that you set for yourself last year? Well, I mean, I, just so your viewers know that, that it was, I was just in a movie that was nominated for an Oscar, right? It wasn't me. Okay. But, but I like the sound of it. <laughs> and I know that's what you meant. All right. But, uh, I, you know, I, I'm always attracted to certain kinds of, of material. And that's that tends to be a good story. You know, the the, the last two films were based on novels uh, that I was a huge fan of long before the movie came out. I, I I wanted to make a movie about Jesse James. You know, when I read that book, I thought someday. I of course thought I'd be Jesse James. <laughs> uh, and they said, no, we're hiring some dude, Brad Pitt, to play that. And I was like, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to continue that. I just wanted to continue to make movies I was proud of. I mm -hmm. liked the feeling of it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I think of people like Brad Pitt or, or Viggo Mortensen or, or Javier, Tommy Lee. And, I mean, I, the examples that were set for me were so great. Right. You know, I, I, I've been so fortunate to work with so many of my, my heroes in Absolutely. this profession, you know, and, and they, they, they set a good example. Exactly. They're hardworking people. You know? Absolutely. Well, speak about a little bit how it was working with Dennis and how much freedom did he give you on mm -hmm. set and describe that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, Dionysius Iliadis, really <laughs> talented guy with a very sensitive, you know, bullshit meter. And I felt we were in really good hands. I think he has really good taste. Okay. Um, I, I think we grew to trust each other more and more right. as time went on, you know, right. and uh, I, I felt like he had a lot of faith in what I was doing and we just you know, let me go, and if, if there was a problem, he'd tell me, you know, and uh, I, I like that. Right. I think we're pretty well covered, so unless you guys can think of anything else, then I'll let you, let you get your rest. Emma, please, you've done more than enough. Go get some sleep, for goodness sakes. Well, if you decide that you do need anything, please don't hesitate to just, go. well, you can't really call, but I guess. Just come over. Will do. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Emma. I think she likes me. We well, did a phenomenal job. Well, that's nice of you to say. Thank um, you. Excellent, excellent job. And I want to know, the film not only was a challenge for me watching it emotionally, but also intellectually. So what were the most challenging parts for you as, as a character in the film? Well, I guess I just, uh, I, I felt a real onus to, to do it justice, you know, and not, to, not make him just some cardboard cutout. You know, right. I, I think those are less scary. Right. But if he's an actual, you know, person, so actually you feel like someone you might meet, that's the kind of thing that scares me the most, you know. The, the, the calm guys that are ready, <laughs> they scare me a lot more than the loudmouths. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. When it was all said and done, like, what would you want the audience to take away from this film and from your character the most? I don't know what I want them to take from my character. I, 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 I like the themes of the movie, you know, that, that ordinary people have power, that you are up to the challenge, that you're up to the task. I think that's important. I don't want to pretend like, you know, that's what we set out to do. Or that, right. But I think there are some unconscious things sometimes that speak to you. You okay. don't know why you like a script or why you like a movie you saw. But I think those things are happening here. Great. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.